Hi everyone. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hi everyone. Welcome back to The Witcher. Um, I've just been walking around exploring, and um, so I'm near this castle. So this, um, I think, is a part of a quest because I can't get in there. I tried to go into the, the gate, but I can't get in there yet. So I'm assuming that's later to come. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Eh, I can't even speak. Maybe in the main story or something else, but. I went over here past it because there was no, like, question mark or anything here, and I got over here, and there's this really weird hooded woman here, so, uh, let's see, Leave I guess. Me alone. Leave me alone. I don't know what she's doing here. Oh. Ooh, a diagram. My goodness. Uh, well, hold on. Oh my god, these things are so terrifying to fight against. Oh my god, dude, like, what am I supposed to do? These things are so hard to fight, man. Where are you going, Geralt? I was just out of range there, thank god. Oh, well, she's almost dead. This is crazy, man. These Bruxes are no joke. Remember when I first ran into one, I was like, damn. That hits me through a building? Powerful vampires in the game. I'm guessing this was her lover, 
Oh, she's sitting. Oh, is it like getting light out now? Like, I don't think it was. Interesting. Very weird area, you know. Anyway, when I stumbled across this, I thought I would just kind of hang out here, explore a little bit. I really do not know how to get into this castle. Like I said, I'm just going to assume that it's something that I'll have to hit later at some point. So let's just keep um, randomly exploring because I, I feel like there's just more to this. Like, there's a bend and something out here. This goes probably towards the end of the map. I do need to upload more Witcher. I need to get back on the main story and all that. Um, but I figured, like I said, we just explore a little bit. So there's something here. I don't, maybe this is nothing. I guess we'll see. Um, yeah, let's go take a peek. Like I said, I don't think there's another way I can get into that um, castle. Strictly because when I went to the front gates, they were like, no, you can't get in. The guy or the lord is of the castle didn't want to be disturbed. And knowing me, my big brain, I was like, okay, well, maybe there's another way I can get in. Um, I didn't find anything. Oh. Give me peace, peace. What makes you You're tormented. By what? Forgive me. But I must ask directly. Are you a man? I... I no longer trust my senses. Not exactly. I'm a witcher. Quite a few folk think I don't deserve to be classified as a member of the human species. Though some personally. A witcher? But no. Nor can you help me. We'll see. Just tell me what the problem is. A foulness. A demon or wraith haunts me. Grants me no rest. It wants something. I sense this. But no, not what. Each day it appears, tarries, then leaves. It's here now, there, beyond the trees. Don't see a thing. Of course not. It cannot be seen. Yet you see it? Only when I drink the brew, which brings a pain to my head. Nausea. But I endured these to keep an eye on the wraith, my tormentor. This demon of yours... Can you describe it? It is an enormous horse. Its hoofbeats pounding in the dark. It gallops to me, stops, stares, then runs on. Sure it's not just a wild horse, run of the mill? The creature is not of this world. When it gazes at me, a terrible chill pervades my soul. It is evil contest. Its eyes black, void. Each time it comes, terror grips me. I cease what I'm doing, still my breath and heart. What's your brew made of? Gotta wonder what's causing such strong visions. You drop in some mushroom, chumber tub, dancing dewlap? Close. The common grey top. I see you know your herbs. Grey top? Variety's extinct, if I recall correctly. Nearly, but not quite. I was able to grow a few from dried spores. I'd hoped a brew of Greytop would reveal this nightmare. I was not wrong. As far as I know, Greytop produces some powerful side effects. Though it can, in fact, reveal the hidden, the immaterial. Yes, I see the evil. Better that than to know it is there, but not know where. Need to talk about how much I'll get paid first. Is it gold you want? Orans or Novigrad crowns. Florins will work too. I've none of any coin. I've nothing, in fact. Just potatoes in the cellar. A good crop this year. Tend to this quickly, completely, and several sacks will be yours. Agreed? Don't have a choice, I guess. Potatoes it is, but how many? Agreed. That many I can spare. Fine. You seem sure something's out there. I'll see what I can do. Start by taking a look around.
This ought to be very interesting. I like how I just have... I've been randomly exploring... Sorry. I've been randomly exploring random areas on the map that don't even have markers. Just because I've gotten bored. And now I'm coming across, like, things that actually have activity here. Like, there have been several spots on the map. Like this. Didn't have a marker here. You can tell there was a building here. Same with this one over here. And I'm sure there's others elsewhere, like here too, whatever else. And it's like, well, there's no question mark here. So if there's no question mark, it makes you think like, oh, like even this, I shouldn't even go there. But me, knowing my brain, I pick out things like even this. And I'm like, let's go there. Because what if something's there? Even though the map doesn't tell you. And sure enough, the last two we've hit, there's been something here. And this one kind of is interesting to me. So we'll see it. Is it just a dog? Yeah, it's, oh, it's a wolf. Oh. Dead moths. Attracted to some ghosts like to the light of a candle. Mm. Seems there's at least some truth to the hermit's ravings. What a cute cow. Medallion's vibrating. Magic nearby. Just can't see a source anywhere. Interesting. I didn't even plan on coming over here. Mm. Seems there's at least some truth to the hermit's ravings. These gate these random gateways look like an old elven like um, what do you call it? Like, tomb, almost? I love that I'm finding random goodies everywhere. I mean, look at all this good shit I have. I haven't even whipped out my best sword yet, which is that one. But I've been finding a lot of goodies. I need to go put, like, look at how much shit I have. I need to go put some of this away. I got way too many pairs of pants, man. I'm wondering where I should put my other outfit. I've been wearing this one. I was playing this game earlier with my girlfriend. That's the other outfit I have is this. My other woven armor that I've been slowly trying to get. I don't have it all yet, but yeah. Hmm. You know what? Should I wear my Tusha Moon? No. Nah, you know what? Let's put the new moon on. I don't know if I brought my new moon pants with me though. Clearly I must not have. I like this armor a lot though, so we'll... Let's put these on. Nah, that clashes. Shit. What are these 93? Yeah, I'll keep these on. Fuck it. Well, clearly there's a cave under her place. On my feet. Tired as the grave. So that's something. Oh, that's the same thing. To some ghosts like to the light of a candle. Mm. Seems there's at least some truth to the hermit's ravings. Oh, we love food. Common gray top. Strong hallucinogen. <laughs> Thought extinct. Don't often get to see that. Huh, so it's, that was kind of like expelling the evil from the world, kind of? Drops of blood on the pillow. Trail of them leading to the window. Something drinks the hermit's blood at night. That I know. Oh, that's I'll gross. Her. Maybe she can tell me something more. She's a cat lady, too. She's got two cats. Witcher. Heard flagellants whip themselves to atone for all humankind's wrongs. To appease the gods, gain their forgiveness. That why you do it? We've each our own reasons. 
I seek to atone for the suffering of a living being, which once fell victim to another's vanity. I care not for humankind, preferring instead the company of animals. That I can tell. Most likely some kind of wraiths tormenting you. Can't tell what kind, though. Felt weak, spent lately? Notice bite marks on your skin? As I said, I feel weaker by the day. And bites, of course. There are lice and midges here aplenty. This isn't lice. Something much bigger drinks your blood while you sleep. But I do not sleep. Not a wink. He's always present. Always watching. This is really creeping me out. It any longer. Sadly, not much I can do. Can't exterminate it if I can't see it. The great top. I shall make a brew of it for you. I've two mushrooms left. Enough for one dose. Perhaps then you'll see what I do. This mushroom, even in me, could produce some nasty, unpredictable side effects. True. There is no knowing how Great Top would affect a mutated body. Hmm. A proper brew could be our only chance to figure this out. Let's just do it. Fuck it. All right. High time we tried this. Maybe I should have explored the cave first? I don't know. If I start muttering something about unicorns or sorceresses, ignore it. I wonder if this effect is going to be similar to like getting drunk. I hope I don't have to fight something while I'm like drunk or hallucinating. That would not be fun. I feel like I should have explored that cave first before I did this, but we'll see. Oh, okay. See no wraith. Wow, this clover's amazing. Now that's what I call a bouquet. Who said that? Oh, you're Is it a leprechaun? Had me worried. You were out way too long. Even considered giving you some white honey. Kind of hard to do with hooves, though. Roach? voice. It's, uh, interesting. Gotta say, I expected a young mare to sound uh, girlish. Based on what? Your vast experience with talking animals? As far as I know, I'm your first. Good point. Must be the brew that did this. Interesting side effect. Great, isn't it? You should take this stuff more often. Got so many pointers I could give you. Can't, sadly. Drinking this too often could prove fatal. Hey, know how you always show up when I whistle? How's that work exactly? Well, you're my human. Gotta be there when you need me. Yes, I'll be there for you, ooh, ooh, as the world falls down. This is so awesome. Still kinda strange. How you cross the ocean when I call sometimes, but then get hung up on the tiniest fence. What's that about? Uh, what can I say? Everyone's got limits. Listen, got this contract I need to finish before the brew wears off. Right. Monster won't slay itself. Let me see. First up, I need to know what we're dealing with. Follow me, and try not to trample any plants or small animals. 
This is so freaking awesome. Have they been hiding at this part of the game from us the whole time where you can talk to Roach? Inspect this area closely. I'll look for clues. You stand there and... Well, just stand. Right. Will you look at that? Don't see anything here. These are hoof prints. Not just any old horses either. These were left by an astral being. Or the worldly. We gotta follow them. I, uh, yeah, this is just awesome. I don't know. I can't see shit. Dead moths often mean a phantom's nearby. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Now, what about the smell? Same whiff I caught at the cemetery in Vizima when we were hunting ghouls. The smell of death. Smells normal to me. Not taking me for a ride, are you? Uh, seriously? I'm sad Roach died in the uh, TV show, but hey, here we are. All right. Now I know what we're up against. Oh, do you? Right, Geralt. Let's sum up what we know so far. We're dealing with some kind of wraith or phantom, most likely. It visits the hermit at night, drinks her blood. Even if we manage to find it, I've got no idea how I could possibly fight it. Geralt, please, I got this. It's definitely an Umbra, an immaterial wraith. This one's assumed the form of a horse. An Umbra actually makes sense. Umbra are completely invisible, even to witchers. But how can you be sure? Because it's not invisible to me, doofus. It's right over there. It's getting Hold away! On. Come on, witcher! Hop in the saddle! Gotta catch it! Let's go, Geralt! After it! Hey! Gonna save my strength a bit. No telling how long we're gonna need to keep running. Geralt, we gotta have a man to horse talk. No offense, but your riding skills, they leave a bit to be desired, buddy. You'd really do me a solid if you could, uh, apply a slightly surer hand. Be a little more decisive about where you want me to go. Sometimes I got no idea, buddy. Do I go left, right, toward where I'm standing? Yeah, and it'd be great if you could respond to the fool of my commands. Hey, heard this one? Horse walks into a tavern, and the innkeeper says, Hey, pal, by the long face. Ah! This is my favorite quest of all time on this game. Just because I'm communicating with Roach. Can you see it now? Yeah, it's right there. Run, Roach. What the fuck do you think I'm doing? <sighs> We're going really far, man. It's a cemetery or some kind.
a sword. Marcello Clerici, knight, died last year. Was more or less the same age as our hermit. Seems his spirit's become a horse-shaped umbra that's tormenting Panastri. Why are you telling me this? I can read and draw my own conclusions. Thinking aloud, that's all, helps me focus. I don't want this quest to end. I get to Geralt, talk to Roach. It's the Umbra! Attack! Let me explain! Talk, but make it fast. Why are you tormenting the Hermit? She torments me! Refuses to forgive me! I'm denied peace in the afterlife, and it's all her doing! Each day I come and beg her for clemency. I knew it. Beg her for clemency. You drink her blood, drive her mad with fear. I don't know how to explain it, but yes! The monstrous force takes me. Though I also know I'll not have peace till the day Pinastri forgives me. You and the Hermit, how do you know each other? We met as babes, grew up side by side. I... I loved her. Yet she was always sad, nothing could cheer her. The world terrified her. I thought her gloom came from being poor. So I did my damnness to take us from our village, make us a better life elsewhere. Became a squire, took her with me to the palace. But Panastri soon learned nobles are no more decent than peasants, not a speck. Once even I'd grown vile to her eyes, she fled the palace and joined the flagellants. I left the court to be near her, yet she cast me off, said she didn't want to know me. When the whip bearers proved too hard-hearted for her too, she became a hermit. I see it clearly now, though I never understood her while alive. From the grave's dark depth, the living are bright, sharp flares. You see all their thoughts at once. Now I understand why she had to cast me off. Hmm. She's full of rage. Probably what turned you into an Umbra. Why take the form of a horse? A horse? What do you mean? Each day since I died, a power lifts me from my grave and, and makes me run. Then I return with blood in my mouth. I don't know what this is, how it comes to pass, but I do know the torment will continue until she forgives me. But she sees me as a horse, you say? Seems so. Same way I saw you. Must have hurt her something awful if she refuses to forgive you. Would rather see you suffer. What did you do? To her? Nothing. But my horse, I... I have flogged it to death. Pinastri, she saw this. Proud stallion, my blaze. But he was a bucker, and tossed me during a tourney, one I'd wanted to win badly. Finestri had been so glad they'd let me stand. Me, a peasant's son. I wanted to win it for her. But that horse made me lose. Rage overcame me. I struck and struck, until at last he fell. Oh, the regret! I beg you, forgive me. Absolve me in Blaze's very name.
can't forgive you for that. Not in my power. But your horse could? Please, I'd do anything. I'm desperate. H help me. Noble mayor, forgive me my sin. I'm not sure what to do here. I mean... He definitely shouldn't have killed his horse in rage over a stupid tournament. Doesn't deserve mercy, this one. Let's see. Could free his spirit, pardoning him on behalf of his horse. But you shouldn't do it if you don't think he deserves forgiveness. Did a rotten thing. Got no excuse. Your horse was loyal. Did the best damn job he could. That's how we horses are. True. I know I deserved what befell me. But we aren't vengeful, don't hold grudges, don't dwell on being left in monster-infested woods. So, in your poor Blaze's name, I forgive you. Oh, thank you. I feel it's incredible. Such relief, such lightness. <laughs> All right, then. Guess we might as well head back. Penastri's nights ought to be ghost tree from now on. Anything to add, Garo? Nope. Let's go see her. <laughs> I hope this lady gives me this concoction potion that I can like brew at Corvo Bianco, because I would love to talk to Roach more. Phantom's gone. Shouldn't torment you ever again. I felt a change. I did. As if I'd been released from a cramped dunk cellar. I had come to belief. No one could help me. I'm grateful, Witcher. As I greet your reward. With my thanks. Ought to thank my horse, actually. Phantom's departure, mostly Roach is doing. Then I thank you too, noble creature. <laughs> Gotta admit, easy peasy with our powers combined. So, what now? We hit the path, right to the nearest notice board, rustle up another contract? Exactly. No, the effects of the bruise waning, I can feel it. Won't be able to understand you soon. Ah, that's horseshit. I mean, I got so much more I want to tell you. And <laughs> clever beasts, horses. Farewell, Witcher. Damn it. Well, that was amazing. Really quick. I'm gonna go explore this cave. If there's anything here, I don't know if there is or not. Oh, it might just be this lady's potatoes.
Man, that really stinks. I'm gonna have when I get off this game, I'm gonna have to Google if there's a um if there's a way to brew that potion because hanging out with Roach just there was awesome. It was just amazing. I don't really know what to say. I don't think can I talk to this lady again and like get anything from her? Wherever she went. Witcher. What do you have to sell? Like to take a look. I just want to know if there's anything that could potentially help me make whatever. I'll have to, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to um, Google and see if there's anything. She has actually let's just buy them all. I don't care. I don't care if that was expensive, it might have been worth it. be a potion right I hope that that wasn't a one-time thing where it's just that's it and that's all I could talk to Take Rose. Care now. I will do some digging I will leave it here and we will be back at some point if I discover anything in regards to this um, then the next episode will start off with that otherwise the next episode will potentially be um, the main quest. So I look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Thanks for watching.